Hello, this is Dom, and in this video, we're going to go over how to use the uh, COVID-19 spreadsheets that I was able to get um, out of uh, Social Studio in the Analyze tab. So uh, go ahead and share my screen so that I can bring this up. All right, so here we have the, um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Here we have the, Um, I have a folder here with these uh, spreadsheets in it. These are actually comma separated values files. So if you make any changes to them, uh, formatting changes or whatnot, you're going to want to save them as Excel uh, files. These are Microsoft Excel uh, comma separated values files. <clears throat> Oops, hey, that's me. Huh. Get you out of there. Sorry. Think I'd know how to use uh, Teams by now, but not so much. All right, cool. Well, whatever. Um, so, yeah, Microsoft uh, Excel comma separated values files. Um, you can open them up, and um, we're going to have to do this enable content uh, thing here. And this is a lot of stuff. Um, basically, uh, let's see. There's dates in here. Don't exactly we have the dates. Ah, publish date. So this is May 1st, um, April 23rd, and it goes backwards from there. And I think part two, so this one goes all the way back to February 1st. And I think uh, let's check on part two. Um, part two goes back to um, August 1st. So, you know, it's we we pulled this in August. We might have to do another one um, for August through September. But for now, this is what we got. This is like the early stages all the way through to August, um, have to deal with the uh, pandemic and whatnot. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, pull up the uh, the first one, and I'll show you how to use it. So if you were to select right here. Um, notice this is all we're at the bottom. This is 5,515. There are a ton. Um, and these are all photos, but actually let's, before we select that, let's go back to the very top. You can see there's this ID, external ID. None of these are really necessary for the purposes of using uh, this spreadsheet right here. External author ID, probably not necessary. Headline, post from, post from, post from. Okay, so you can see where they're coming from. These are all from various uh, Facebook and Twitter pages, okay? And you can see right here where they came from. Author, um, content, here's the text uh, that was, that came along with it, um, which you can get by other means as well. But article URL, this is gonna be important. Um, this is how to get to each of these photos or um, groups of photos. But um, <clears throat> the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, however, is select this entire spreadsheet, and then you want to go to, I believe, data, and then sort. So you want to sort this. But something you're going to want to keep in mind is that your data does have a header row. So we do have headers, and what we want to sort by is likes and, uh, likes and what's it, comments? Mm, all right. Likes and votes. Yeah, likes and votes. So likes and votes, and you want to sort it from largest to smallest. So let me go okay for that. And now what you're going to see over here under likes and votes is the, the ones that have the most likes and votes are at the top. So now I won't say that these are the best, um, the best photos. What I can say is that they are the ones that got the most engagement. So you can do the same over this part two. We're on part two. Uh, same with part one. Oh, no, wait. We just did part one. We'll do part two. All right, so select the entire thing. Go to data, sort. We do have a header row. Sort by likes and votes. And order from largest to smallest, okay? And now we see here 500, 530, 548. Um, so this is pretty cool. Um, let me get a Chrome tab over here. 
And the reason we want this Chrome tab is because we're going to be using this stuff. So let's get the part one over here, and we got one with 517. Well, this is our most liked photo or group of photos, or photo gallery or whatever. So I'm going to copy the URL, and then I'll go over here to Chrome and I paste it. And we'll see what was it that they liked so much about this photo. Actually, that is a pretty cool bit of photos. So, uh, 817. So we pulled this back in uh, August. So obviously, it's gotten more likes since then. 280 shares. I mean, that is a lot. Um, that is a lot of shares. So you know, and this is a co all of these photos are COVID-19 related. So that's the first one. We can kind of go take a look. What's what's the rest of them? Copy, Control T, paste. And you can just kind of go through here. Now, one thing, I mean, I'm operating on the assumption here that these individuals, um, these are PAOs that um, that uh, acquired most of these photos, and generally they're pretty good at um, getting uh, any waivers that need to be signed, getting those signed, uh, and things of that sort. So um, that is a something you know to keep in mind. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that these should be good to go. They are shared publicly on, you know, public-facing Facebook page. So I'm assuming that these PAOs did their due diligence here. Um, and notice all of these right here, they're all Facebook. Um, you go down some more, you could probably find some uh, some Twitter, but it's like, you know, the majority of it is Facebook posts. <laughs> um, let's see, again, any Twitter further down? Twitter. Now, something that you'll notice from Twitter, though, um, is that they have really high numbers over here. So you may want to take a look at this column over here and see what exactly that was. What is that? Following. Hmm. I don't know how that, <laughs> how that uh, applies to these. Uh, maybe that's just how many Twitter followers they have. Um, although, I don't know. That's weird. But maybe if you want to do a sort, yeah, we could try it real quick. Let's do a sort by following and see what that gives us. Sort, likes and votes. Yeah, that's cool, but let's find following. Let's see what that gives us. 61, 22. Notice it's all Twitter results over here now. But the same idea, you know, you can copy this and go over here, Control T, Control V. What was it that everybody liked so much? Well, that's interesting. Um, so it is COVID-19 related, but um, not really something that is you know, I mean, it's it's not like healthcare workers and patients, so to speak. It's more of like a advertisement of sorts. Um, so you may want to play around with this to see if you can actually find, figure out how to, yeah, this stuff. Not really what we're looking for. So I'm going to stick with likes and votes for now. You can go back and um, maybe separate out all the Twitter stuff uh, and see if you can find a way to find the best Twitter content as well, because it looks like the likes and votes really mostly just get you Facebook stuff. Um, so let's go to sort, likes and votes. Large to smallest, good to go. And then we can come down further and see. I do wonder, like, what can we use as a good, uh, a good Twitter, um, metric to find the best stuff, most engaging stuff. Following seemed like something that was useful, but it's like we're seeing a bunch of advertisements and stuff. There's a retweet. <laughs> I don't know. That's somebody else's stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know what all these, this is like followers, updates, followers, following, no idea what that, any of that stuff means. <laughs> um, but, all right, so this is, uh, if we can go down a couple here and see, where's the link? Here we go. Copy, Control T, Control V. This one's from Chicago VA Medical Center. This one's, you know, it's okay. COVID-19 pandemic. This is like a congratulations to um, Director of Infection Control. Um, and go down to the next one. A lot of these are like patients and doctors and nurses and stuff. And then various staff around the medical center. Um, 
something about nurses. And Arbor is helping heroes. Yeah, that's a cool picture. So, yeah, there's a lot of really cool pictures in here. So you can come through here, like I said, sort by sort by likes and votes, votes, and then you can see what gets the most. And if you want, maybe you can sort by the number of comments. You know, that might be that might give you something else or engagement. What is engagement? I don't really know. Maybe sort by engagement and see what, what kind of different um, results you end up with. Like, what's, what does that get us? Engagement five. Wow, that's impressive. Oh, it looks kind of like it mirrors to a certain extent. Um, but let's, uh, let's try comments, the ones that got the most comments. Comment count. See what this one is. Ah, we already saw that one. Silly. This one is down in the two hundreds, but it got a lot of comments, so I wonder what that was. Oh yeah, man, we already saw these. Mm. Find something that was in the 100s, but got a lot of comments. Okay, yeah, first wave of CAVHS uh, staff left today to assist our sister facility in New Orleans with caring for veterans during this outbreak of coronavirus. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and this would just be, and this one did get a lot of uh, comments. Um, looks like it's gotten a few more likes and votes um, since then. Um, but this might be if if you go ahead and um, do some sorts based on other metrics here, um, you might be able to find some stuff that you otherwise would have missed, like things that didn't quite rise to the top because maybe they didn't have as many followers. But like you know, let's say. Um, the Facebook page that published this one, 65 likes and votes, but it still got 40 comments. So maybe, you know, that one was something that was a really good photo. It just, they didn't have a whole lot of followers to begin with. I don't know. I can't really tell from over here. Screening measures. Now uh, looks like a stock photo, but anyway, you get the idea. You can play around with it, how you want to uh, organize it, uh, sort it and find the stuff that, you know, but, but the main, key here is like trying to find the best photos that had to do with COVID-19 and VA's response and, you know, the response of various doctors, um, patients, um, uh, nurses, and other staff. Um, this was a cool photo too. Uh, so that's how you do it. If you have any questions, let me know. Let's see if I can get back to Microsoft Teams. Yay. And turn off my sharing. Cool. And that should do it. So talk to you later. Bye.